Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, back here at the Minnetonka store for Second Swing Golf in the Tour Van. I am joined by Bella McCauley. She plays for the University of Minnesota. She won a college event this past fall, uh, the Boilermaker Invitational. We had to give a shout out. We did not do that in the last video, so I had to <laughs> bring it up here. Um, but today we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison. So um, we kind of like to explore older clubs versus newer clubs um, because we do both here at Second Swing. Um, so today we're gonna compare an older driver which I've got in my hand here, versus the, what you currently play, Bella. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by introducing the driver that I have in my hand right here. So this is the Titleist 913D3. This would have been released, I believe, at the end of 2012. Okay. Um, and then carried over in 2013 as Titleist's primary driver. Um, the D3 model means it is a little bit more of the kind of more compacted shape, uh, mm -hmm. similar to yours, as we'll find out. Yeah. So. That's what I have uh, today that, to compare. What do you play in your bag now? Yeah, so I play the Titleist uh, TSI 3 driver. Like you said, it's similar to actually that and the fact that it's like a pretty compact head. And um, yeah, I, I just like, I have a regular flex. I actually have a pretty longer, sh like a longer than regular normal shaft mm -hmm. um, just to like maximize distance. But it's overall like a pretty classic model for a driver. Yeah, it is. It, it's pretty, the, the shape of it and also the look on the crown is just a classic black, yeah. nothing really there for you to get distracted by, right? Yep. So um, yeah, we're going to hit a few shots with each and we're going to see the difference here. Titleist mm -hmm. has made si some pretty significant strides with driver over the years. So yeah. um, I think we'll see that on the test here. Uh, what, do you, what do you want to start with? Uh, let's do mine again like we did for the irons okay. and kind of see the big difference. I like it. Let's do it. All right, we've got the Gamer, the TSI-3. Um, we've got also your, I did look at your shaft to see um, Kurokagi 50 gram regular flex. Yes. And you said it's also a tad longer than standard. So yep. a couple things to note for the, for the viewers on that. It's a pretty darn good first ball there. Yeah, that one was good. And I remember in, in previous sessions we've had, you kind of play like a, a almost like a baby draw most of the time. Yeah, that's my go-to. Um, it's like so trusty that like I don't, I just always play it on the draw. I don't even yeah, like I mean, have to think about it. You probably there's probably rarely you ever have to not play a draw off the tee, right? Pretty yeah. much. <sighs> oh yeah. Yeah, that does the job. That one might that might have ended up right on the uh, on that center line. On the line. Gotta be darn close. Yeah, I mean. That one's pretty straight. It's pretty uh, it's about as consistent as it gets right there. Hit the two fifty mark with that one. Yup. I think that's one. I think we got one more, right? Yeah, we got one more, but. One five zero smash factor. Dang. It's funny, I don't even think I felt like I hit it that good. Wow. So that's pretty good. Um, not a lot has to be said about that. <laughs> There's our total. Uh, this is a pretty darn zoomed in look at this dispersion map. Yeah, because this is about so this five right here, yards. Right, yeah, we got this five yeah. yards. And uh, this is also, if we, if we were to zoom out, I can't actually zoom out right now. I wish I could, but this is like the skinniest part of the, this sort of fairway here. And you're just, that one was very close, by the way. I did say it was we're about, right on the line. Yeah, we're like an inch away from it. So, uh, and then the numbers wise, I mean, you're super consistent there too. Your ball speed's over 130 at 132.8, 149 smash factor, 214 on the carry, 247.4 on the total. Um, that's pretty darn good. That's all. I mean, that's that's. I don't have, really have anything else to add. I don't know. I, I can't imagine this thing get, it gets it any hits any better than that. So let's see it. Ah, this is going to be interesting. So what I might try to do, I'm just going to try it here before you say anything on camera. I'm going to try to build it with her shaft. So that's the 913D3. It's your actual driver shaft. We just switched. So, okay. um, what is your first thought on how that club looks at address? I mean, it's just different than what I'm used to. Yeah, it's. But yeah. it's actually like, in all reality, 
fairly similar to my yeah. actual driver now, like very simple, classic, compact mm -hmm. um, head. Just like a lot of driver heads will get like really wide. This one's still pretty compact, so. Yeah, definitely. So your driver with your setting at C4, that's what your gamer setting is, was playing, it was a nine degree head, but it was playing at 9.75. We've got that at 9.5. So Okay, so very um, There similar. will be a slight difference there. I'm gonna throw a tag on here so that it says 913D3. And then- We're being uh, very specific. Yeah, we're not gonna get things mixed up here. We would never do that on my watch. <laughs> oh my loud. Did you hear that? I mean, that was loud. It like sounded really. Loud. It was like a. It was very high pitched. <laughs> but hey, imagine, it's, I mean, like, you, you hit it straight. So. Imagine after listening to that like all day on the range, you like might go like lose hearing. It's like so high pitched. Right. That's why. <laughs> good thing golf is outside because the person hitting this this club indoors like this, they would lose their hearing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. If we need to get some earplugs, we can probably do that. <laughs> the ball is going, it's, like it's, going, it's looking, it's going pretty far and straight. So. It's like the ball speed's definitely less. Yeah, it is. There you go. That one was a little faster. Do you feel anything different at, at contact or does it feel pretty similar? It feels really similar. Okay. I would say it's just like uh, a weird, like it doesn't feel as like, smooth off the face. Okay, you kind of, you feel a little bit more in your hands. Yeah. At impact, okay. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably, because it's definitely a different face material. That's just kind of titanium and um, your driver has a new material, so. That one might be a little, that's a little it's right. A little bit out there, okay. Yep. I think we got one more, but I mean, this has been, uh, just by the sound, it's a crazy different golf club. But. Yeah. It, it honestly, like, are they made of something different? Because they're sounding the face, so... The club face is a different material. Okay. Uh, yours I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, your club face is a different material, something a little bit more modern. It sounds like this. a pop can. Like hitting it a does. Can. That, that's a great way to describe it, actually. Uh, so... It's funny. I think you. I think you. Did you just go ten for ten fairways? Oh, you had the one. That's right. The one I had over one. here. Um, otherwise, you had nine out of ten fairways. Um, you'll have to dig out the sand on this one. But other than that, pretty good. Um, let's see if I can collapse this and get the numbers just like that. So, here's our overall look. Um, I'm actually surprised at how close the spin rates were in general because I think the. The whole story with Titleist drivers is that their older ones were too spinny. Um, but clearly for you, this, this one was working. And obviously, you have an impeccable golf swing, so that might be part of it. But um, you gain some distance, um, both carry and total here. Um, and then part of the uh, speed difference that also could have been you were swinging the TSI 3 a tad faster. I wonder, I did not measure, I wonder if the club head, that one, the old one is a little bit heavier. It might be. I'm not sure. That could be it. Did, did you probably didn't. You didn't feel a difference in, no, in weight I at all. No, I did not hear okay. too, feel too much of a difference. Um, it might. There might be a slight difference there, but I do want to just point out the dispersion here being um, pretty. Or they're pretty good for both, but obviously the white oval being a little bit better. A little further. That's what you're playing. A also a little consistent. bit further up the fairway. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, but I think to your. I mean, you could. You would. I mean, you would probably advocate for that club for a lot for somebody out there that might want to save a little money on a new driver I mean, yeah that right now that thing's barely over 100 bucks and uh you hit the ball pretty good pretty straight with it's it. it's not bad honestly it kind of surprised me i wasn't sure what to expect yeah. like with something that's not crazy different in technology but still like a good 10 years and you know it's it's not terrible so if you're looking to save some money it's it's very like it's comparable. There's definitely a difference, but it's comparable. Yeah, there's a difference. There's definitely a difference in the sound. Yeah. Um, might need to bring some earplugs if you're going <laughs> to actually play this. But that was, I, I am also very surprised. I thought there'd be a bigger difference between the two. And really, if you take out this swing here where you had the face open a little bit, it does get a lot better on the dispersion map. Um, but both, both drivers were very consistent for you. Had that draw working with both of them for the most part. Um, but I also can see why the TSI-3 is in your bag the way it is. So 
Um, good stuff, though. I think it kind of shows, A, you can get fit and find something that works for you. You're going to gain some performance. And then B, um, it also shows an older driver could still give you some solid performance. Yeah, so. absolutely. So um, any, do you have any other comments on this test? This was a fun one. I mean, we got, this is basically 10 years. I guess in their, your case, the TSI-3 is a little bit older driver than present day, so probably about an eight year difference in technology. Yeah, there, so. you know, this is different than I feel like previous tests we've done. Most of them we've seen like dramatic differences, yeah. especially with like the big age difference between clubs. Yeah. Even the irons, we saw more of a, bit, a, of a disparity mm -hmm. here, but to see like pretty similar um, distances and like dispersion with the driver, it's like, it's actually cool to see how like people, you know, how Titleist is like, tried to make small minimum minimal changes yeah. but it's like it's hard because it's like the technology is still super good so yeah yeah things are there's been advancements i would say with you'll notice that with metal woods is that the changes are a little more subtle with metal woods over the last many years compared to irons especially what you saw and how consistent those irons became for you um, and we saw the consistency improve a little bit with your driver here as well so um good stuff though hey golfers if you're looking for something used and uh, want to save a buck or two on a driver, there's a ton of options. 913D3 is one of them. But of course, you can get fit for something that works exactly for your swing with the latest technology as Bella has and get a Titleist driver for your game. So Bella, thank you for joining, hitting the shots today. You hit nine out of 10 fairways. That's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. <laughs> Hopefully so, that'll transfer over to the spring. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we will be rooting for the Gophers this spring. So thank you again, Bella. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.